Hi there, it's Jonathan Bocher from PlayGuitar.com, back with another Lick of the Week for you. This one's got uh, a couple different parts to it, but uh, we'll dive right in. We're in B minor today, and uh, a quick refresher here on that. Uh, we're going to use the diatonic scale today, so B diatonic minor starting 7th fret. Uh, we'll just go through that slowly. And we're also going to kind of dip into the, the major scale just a wee bit here. Just kind of that top end, right? You can also think of that as the, um, an extension to this, to that minor pattern, um, if you're familiar with that. So those are the scale patterns we're working with here. Um, Basically, we're starting with a slide here, coming in to, that's an F sharp, on the ninth fret of the fifth string. Okay, we're using our third finger. And then we're going to play fourth and, no, third and fourth strings together. Play a nice little double stop there, that's a fourth. I love that sound, it's just so kind of gnarly and, um, you know, just sounds so great. So, a few different ways you can approach this, but uh, I think perhaps in the example, uh, I didn't bother stepping back down to the F sharp there, I just went like that, but right now, in the moment, I'm hearing it that way, right? So, key here is to just Feel free to change things up however you see fit. They're guitar riffs. They're not like, you know, works of art, right? They can't be changed. They're, uh, they're fluid. So we want to play that double stop back down to the F sharp. And then just up the second time we're coming up, we're just playing that single note, okay, on the seventh fret of the, uh, yeah, seventh fret, fourth string. We're not playing the double stop again. And then we're going to play the ninth fret, third finger, fourth string, just long enough to, to slide up from it. Now we're into the major scale. Okay, that brings us to the eleventh fret, fourth string. Now we're going to jump up here, a sixth. You could also think of this, that shape as an inverted third. If this is your root note, that's an A. Okay. And then from here, we're going to play these two notes here. You could also go up here if you wanted. That's 14th fret, 2nd and 4th strings. But I think I'm going to go here this time. Same two notes, but 1st and 3rd strings, 9th fret. Okay? Um, and I'm picking on the 3rd string and using my second finger to grab the first string so I can play them at the same time. Okay. Then we're jumping up three frets to the 12th fret. And we're gonna slide up from there. We're gonna play both of those notes together. And then we're gonna slide up, right? To the 14th fret, keeping our, our fingers intact. Uh, third and fourth fingers. Okay. So, let's put it all together. And of course, you can play around with the timing of this, right? Um, I always feel it a little bit differently when I'm playing over a track. Um, and of course, you play it over a different song and you, you probably interpret it completely differently again. Quick little bonus for you. When I demoed the riff at the beginning of the video, I played it two different ways. The second or the first time I did this slide up, and the second time played the same riff. But I kind of resolved it down to the D. Now you can think of these 
these pairings, the easiest way that I usually relate to them is thinking of them in terms of uh, triads coming off of the first, second, and third strings. So, and you can actually relate this to your root six bar chords if you want to. So think of this as a C sharp minor, okay? We're at C sharp. Well, just chop off the whole bottom three strings and we're only looking at these top strings. Um, and you've got C sharp minor right here. You've got D major right here. Of course, that comes right out of your full root six bar chord. Top three strings, E minor, F sharp minor, okay? Those are all chords that come out of the key of D major. Now we're going to lose the second string entirely and only look at the first and third strings and we get all of those shapes that I've just been working with. So there's something for you to study. You can, of course, apply that all across the fretboard. Uh, hope you enjoyed that lick. Subscribe if you would like to see more licks of the week like this. And of course, uh, you can get the tabs for free at playguitar.com. You can follow the link below. It'll bring you straight to the page. You have yourself a great day, and we'll see you again in the next lesson.